I'm a crack addict That's right, I'm a crack addict You heard me, I'm a crack addict I'm addicted to crack and skulls with one slot static It's time to panic You, you keep saying that you are, um African Caribbean, uh, which is fine, but uh, which is fine, I suppose. You know, apparently these days, you know, you know, it's not your fault, I guess. I love what she says as well. You keep saying you're Afro Caribbean, but like, is there a dispute here, darling? But how can you be African Caribbean and English? I couldn't be African. I'm English. But I certainly couldn't. Are you really? Well, fuck my ass with a fucking prize winning leak. I'm astonished. Could not have told that and me. I, I love. Oh, God. This is going to be a corker, isn't it? Not call myself African Caribbean. Yes, well, there's, there's a very specific reason that you couldn't call yourself African Caribbean. Ja I don't even know what your fucking name is. I just assumed it was Jan. I'm saying that's the LBC version of Karen, right? But you could, you, I mean, you could call yourself African Caribbean. You don't, you know, why not? I wouldn't fucking know, you know? No one's going to argue with you because, you know, no one talks to you anymore. No one cares. You could be Irish, though. You could have Irish. No, you could have I'm not bits. Irish. Yeah, I'm but not you could be. You could. Fucking hell, she did. She did. I've never heard anyone deny being Irish with the fucking venom that she did. I, I could not be Irish. No, it's a. I'm sorry, like, it, like, you know, if if you take into account, right, here's the thing about the Irish, right, the English, we, when we created empires, we invaded and took over, right, the Irish had a, had a different system, they infested, right, you know, you, you talk to any, any, you know, white, you know, even any, you, know, you could take any random white people from any part of the world, like, a hundred of them, put them together, and genetically, or, you know, there's probably like, you know, 16 and a half fucking Irish people between them, right? Could be. You no, could I'm not. Because I have looked my name right the way back to the Middle Ages, my maiden name. <laughs> when I was born? When, uh, that's where my, that's the, I've looked my name back to the Middle Ages. You do know, don't you, darling, that like you, your name is not exclusive to you, right? There are other people with your... You can't just look... What, did you look in a fucking phone book? I looked right back to the Middle Ages, and that doesn't mean anything anyway. Just because... So, you know, even if you were related to the... To Jan, you know, to whatever the fucking... You know, back in the Middle Ages, you don't know what's been going on. But, you know, what, what happened... And also, there was a point... I just want to point out. The Middle Ages, right... It's called the Middle Ages for a reason. When does the middle come? There's a bit generally before that, isn't there? I love the fact she's... This isn't, this isn't a woman... This isn't just a woman who's, like, trying to rationalise the fact that she's, like, never left the country, knows nothing, and therefore is convinced herself that this is... that Britain's the best country in the world and it blah, blah, blah. But this is a woman who is refusing to accept that anybody in the history of her, you no, know, going right back to the primordial ooze. And um, I'm Anglo-Saxon. Great. You're Anglo-Saxon, are you? I'm sorry. What was that you were saying? You you, you couldn't call yourself Afro-Caribbean. You can call yourself Anglo-Saxon. Hmm. Let me see. Let me see. Where does that word? Where does where does that? Because that's a compound word, Anglo-Saxon, which means it's a word made up of two other words that have been put together, right? And uh, it generally comes to Anglo-Saxon. Where were the, that must be, you know, where, where did the Angles and the Saxons come from? Hmm. Uh, but you will never be English. You are African Caribbean. But why, so why? Yes, David, David, you'll never be English. You'll never, no matter how much you, you're fucking born here. No matter how much you fuck, even though you, you can you can have, even though it's literally just a word we give to people, it's a name we give to people, a label we bestow upon people who happen to have fucking been, you know, in this part of the land, 
or people, if they want, who've come over here and have, you know, adequately proven that they, they really, really want to be here. Why will I never be English? I got a David between you and me. Spoiler alert. Because you're African Caribbean. Which I think is the same thing that I just said. Look, I can't. I can't say oh, oh, to you. Oh, what, what about my kids? What, are my African, kids? what are my kids? What are my kids? I can't say I'm African Caribbean. What, what? No, you can't because you're not fucking African or Caribbean, you stupid cow. I can't say I'm African. But what, is that a problem for you? You think that's what's been holding you back in life? Is that your dream? I don't know. These days, you, you, you can be any bloody gender you sod in one life. I, I couldn't be African, Car you know. You can be British, but I can't be African. But you could have been if you'd have been fucking born in Africa or, or the Caribbean, or if your parents were directly, you know, were first generation immigrants from there, or probably even second. I don't know. With people like you around, seeing as how you're forcing this in to have no frigging choice. Yeah, but the truth is. Uh, Gene, just a little bit of history on okay, okay, I have such... This is where I have such sort of respect for someone like David Lammy because I, I'm a white guy and I would be fucking eviscerating this bitch. Now. Yes. Britain, uh, 400 years ago, started going out into the world. Yeah. She, no, she remembers David. She was there. Colonised and conquered a lot of the world. Mm. A lot of the world... Uh, 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 a lot of it. Uh, most of it, David. Thank you has ended up coming back to the mother country. My parents were part of that generation mm -hmm. who came from the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. uh, when I took a DNA test, I, I like it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. actually had Scott in, Scott, Scottish in me, probably mm -hmm. because as a result uh, of that, someone somewhere, uh, frankly, got their leg over uh, uh, with one of my ancestors, and mm -hmm. I've got Scottish blood running through me. Uh, mm. Good job you haven't got ginger hair, because I don't think Jan could handle that. Uh, I said that gently, but it could have been horrendous. Let's be clear about that. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and so... <laughs> my my great-great-granny nobbed a jock. And, and, and here I am, having grown up in this country, mm -hmm. have been born of this country, and actually, mm -hmm. the truth is, it's a myth that there's one English... Uh, uh, ethnicity. Oh, getting sassy there, David. I like it. English. Mm -hmm. There's not, because England has always been a country in which um, um, Huguenots... Uh, Fucking Huguenots coming up the Iberian Peninsula, teaching us how to... How, stopping us from worshipping a tree, the fucking beaker folk. Uh, uh, Danes, mm -hmm. all sorts of people have passed through. So when you say you are English, I'm not saying that that doesn't mean something to you and matter hugely. It does. Uh, because there are... I know it does, Jane. Do you know why? It's because you're a fucking loser. It's because you have got to the ripe old age of whatever the fucking hell it is you are, right? 2000 and dead. And the fact is, you've got fuck all in life to look back on, to, you know, to sit there and be proud of and to boast about so you're or, or at least very uh, not enough that you can actually you don't have to fill in the gaps to pad out your cv right? and you think the fact that you fell out of some tyrannosaurus rex's fucking vagina you know back in the uh, you know back it's 64 billion years ago you think that that gives you the fucking you know right to lord it over people like him there, there are probably, as you put it... And when I say like him, I mean, you know, not like, not, not like him. I mean, you know, I don't know, I don't know what the... What, I don't, I don't, I, I'm, try, I'm, I'm just stumbling over myself. Genuine chocolate faces like Dave. Caribbean roots, and well, I know the Caribbean, Caribbean very British, well. But it's the but same that I'm English. English. Sorry, what? You're, you're British, but you're not English. Well, that's, that's the point I think you're making, and I'm disagreeing with that. Uh, tell me, well, what do you think... What do you think... If, what, I was, if I was born in the... That, that was the politest way I've ever heard anyone say, do you know, J J love, you're talking bollocks. Shut, sit your wrinkled minge down Caribbean, 
as a white person, I certainly wouldn't call myself. Yeah. Well, I'm a afraid. Caribbean. I wouldn't call myself that. I would never, ever, because being English is not a national. English is not a nationality. It's a state of mind. And there's a fucking state of hers, a fucking shrapnel. God, I'm fucking, you know. Respect your elders. They fought in the war. Well, she, she could have died in the process. Tell her it was. I'm glad it was. It wasn't fucking worth it. Yeah, you obviously, have English. you ever been to the Caribbean, Jean? I haven't. No, I haven't. No. Oh, I haven't. No, listen, mate, she's just told you her fucking DNA has never, ever left Berkshire. Well, then you probably don't realise that in countries like Barbados, there are significant white Caribbean populations who have been there for hundreds of years. And just, just, yep. They're just like you. And they sit there and they ring up white geese uh, and, and they, they ring up black geezers who are fucking who are over there, too. And they sit there and argue with them about how fucking they are significantly more Caribbean than I am. Well, all Didn't I know that, did you? The whole world is polluting everybody the way it's... Whoa! Shit! Yeah, you did not fuck around there! Polluting! Jesus fucking Christ! Talk about drop... She didn't just... The mask didn't slip. She fucking whipped it off for Scooby-Doo style there. God, just, yeah, well, I'm sick of the polluting. I'm sick of the... Just... just Wow, that did not fucking. I dread to think what she was calling. Look at David's face. Look at him. Look at the look at the poor little fucker. Look at him. He's like. Going. What's that phrase? Polluting. It is. Why is it polluting? It is Jean? because you are what you are. But, you are where but, you are. But, but... You are what you are, David. Can't you? St I mean, what a. Fucking watertight, sodding argument that is. Because you are what you are. You're brown, just like poo. And when poo goes into something, we call that pollution. Right? But, but, but hang on, Jean, Jean, Jean. I don't. Jean, 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 I can tell that you. The only fucking. Yeah, I bet your kids are. Your and grandkids are dying for your fucking inheritance. Christ almighty, they're probably cringing at this. Are more I, hope, I hope they play this at your fucking funeral and laugh. More senior than I am in age, so I want to be polite. No, don't in, do that. In don't this do conversation, don't don't be polite. How dare you be polite? Don't treat you treat me mean, David. Slap me around, choke me, spit in my mouth. Yeah. Call me a dirty honky bitch. Well, that, that's how I was brought up. That you're polite to your yeah, seniors, yeah, Jean. But yeah. what I'm saying is the word pollution. Mm -hmm. Where's that word pollution come from? It's a very negative way. But it is negative. To, isn't... Well, I'm saying, uh, uh, well, it's actually the, it's actually the fourth least offensive word I could come up with. I had, you know, infected, uh, you know, uh, raped, scarred, bruised, you know. Negative way to describe the fact that people meet one another, they fall in love, they mm -hmm. have kids. They move, bo and then they turn into miserable old fucking husks of fucking shit bags like you. Orders you know, sometimes, mm -hmm. and they phone and they phone up radio stations with younger geezers like him, yeah. who for some reason you see as a fr fucking. Oh. Christ. Or sometimes through economic reasons, and they become what they... Sometimes it's just jungle fever, Jack. ...come when they are of that country. Mm -hmm. And just as you can be in America, and you can mm -hmm. be African-American, uh, 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 or you can be Italian-American, or mm -hmm. you can be Irish-American, uh, how is it that here in England you can only claim that Englishness effectively, Gene, if you are white? Well, he didn't give her a chance to answer, so we'll never know. Now, for those of you who don't know, since the last video I made, uh, not only has uh, my beard run away to join Islam, as it normally does every uh, year and a half, and not only has the rest of my hair fallen out, um, in fact, a lot of you probably turned it off because they thought, who's this hunky young beefcake? No, it's me. Right? Um, since then, uh, you know, we've got a new monarch and a new prime minister. And yesterday, 
uh, the new Prime Minister uh, and the Queen that died was called Liz, and the Prime Minister who's taken over is also called Liz, you know. Bit of a coincidence, you know. Uh, names Liz Trust, Trust, ironically, something you do for a turkey, which is uh, she, and she, the, the, the Tory party is certainly the Christmas that their voters have asked for. Uh, and uh, she's already 17 days in. Uh, the pound is now barely competitive with the Confederate dollar. And she, she's already, already, members of the Tor Tory party have been submitting uh, note, you know, letters of no confidence in 17 days. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know. You know, this is this is what happened, you know. If only they treated Boris Johnson, if, you know, I mean, I dare say this, I don't care, but it seems to me a little bit like maybe uh, as a woman, she's being, you know, given, she, you know, I think, I, I think, you know, when you consider what Boris Johnson got away with before they really pushed to the limit where they just had to sit there and pretend that they were just, you know, but anyway, so uh, I think this woman is ringing up, and, and there's, there's, there has been this steady stream of people, you know, who still want Boris back. Boris, I don't, you know, for, for, you know, which is the one thing none of his fucking, none of his wives or mistresses, mistresses have ever ended up doing. But uh, this woman is gonna, is say, you know, is she apparently wants Boris back? Uh, Jenny. In Ipswich, a call. Oh, it's Jenny. Je Jenny. We've gone from Jan to Je Jan and Jenny. Je Jenny. According to Evelyn, Boris Johnson was a complete and utter failure as Prime Minister. Do you agree? Yeah, I, I, I'm astonished at the terminology. In fact, I'm hearing other songs. You are astonished at the terminology. Calling him a complete and utter failure. More MP. The amount of MPs who resigned under his leadership is more than the amount of MPs that have resigned under every single other Prime Minister combined in a day. Afternoon, Sangeeta and Amy. In fact, to the extent I'm surprised it's allowed. When I'm using hearing... You're surprised it's allowed? Oh, so you're against freedom of... Imagine that, imagine being... This is like the... Oh, you can't go... Imagine calling it a complete and utter failure. How dare you? Uh, adjectives, descriptions, characterizations as evil, liar. I think it's insulting. Fat cunt, wanker, prick, arsehole, you know, pedo, things like that. All of which are true. It's wrong. And yes, I do want Boris back, and I do think Boris. Oh, do you? Um... He's the right man for the job. Mm. I'll just quickly relay, shall we, about the important things, the yeah, three, please. I call it. We're talking about the vaccine rollout. I know it's been... Oh, here we go. The fucking... It's the same. Uh, the vaccine rollout and all the other... As if this... None of this would have happened under any... And let's not go into the fucking... What happened beyond that, you know? Discussed today. I've heard it. Very, very important and increasingly important. So when we're going to... Let's not talk about the fucking death toll, you know, and where we rank in that fucking little matter our jabs and we're going to go and get our um you know um top ups we have to think back as to where we've got a top up mm. and we say yes but it's because of boris and if we if anyone else had been in charge it simply wouldn't have happened we'd be sat here you know we'd all be sat here rolling around in our own filth and we're fine because of that this we'd all be sat we'd all have polio tb consumption trench foot we'd have every 1920s disease Talk about brexit brexit was done it was a poison challenge brexit brexit would have happened i agree it's a poison challenge but it would have happened again whoever was in charge because you'll remember he wasn't he wasn't in charge when it was voted in he wasn't in charge for the year and a bit after that and he ain't in charge now before um, the previous government couldn't do it. They didn't know what to do with it. Whether it's completely been achieved is another... What do you mean they didn't know what to do with it? What did they do with it? They left it... They did nothing with it. There's nothing you could do with it. ...matter. Mm. It's been done. Let's also talk... Is it, let, yeah, let this be... It's been done. Let's move on from... Let's not talk about that. Why? No, fuck you. ...about Ukraine. 
Boris Johnson. Oh, the Ukraine. Let's talk about that, shall we? Because that's relevant to us. He's been allowed to finish off his his primary. His being a prime minister for the next couple of years. His premiership, darling. It's a premiership. This is called patronising. Okay, and, and in regards to all these other people, let's... I'm sorry. What you talk, you were talking about Ukraine then? What's he done there? What turn up and go? I don't know why you're bothering with a war. You know, just fuck, just do what I've done. Fucking, why do you think we've had very, why do you think there's been virtually nothing in the way of Islamic terrorist attacks in this country in the last few years? It's because they've been sat there with their feet up watching it fucking just naturally fucking deteriorate. They ain't got a, they, they, what's the fucking point? Let's see what's in their closet. Let's see what, what, where they've gone wrong and let's talk about their lives, shall we? No, I, t- I tell you what, let's, let's, let's not, okay? Let's, let's talk about the geezer who is in charge and what we do know he's done wrong you don't just you can't just brush off anything everything bad someone's done by saying well let's see what you fucking do. let's see let's see your fucking and i don't even and i'll be honest i don't even really fucking give a shit whether boris johnson's personal life whether he was a philandering fucking coke fiend right who who you know who had a fascinating who like to wear a nappy and fucking you know sit in a bath full of jelly deals in an electrified cage whilst you know masturbating to fucking you know animal pornography if he you know i could give a shit about that he it just he he wasn't very he wasn't very good at his job is what the problem for me was you know and I don't think it's very polite to discuss about what people look like. And I don't switch off. In fact, I switch on. And I... Well, that's rich. Uh, well, I wonder why that is. I don't think it's polite to look someone look like, you know. Yeah, well, yeah, we all know. Yeah, we all know what, you know, Boris Johnson certainly doesn't do that, does he? Unless he's talking about, you know, tank top wearing bum boys or, you know, picking in ease with watermelon smiles or, you know, pe- you know, women, you know, women, Muslim women who look like letterboxes. Tell you why I switch on Sangeeta because he's one of the very few politicians engaging. Mm. He's got the, the uh, he's got the charisma. He's got the in- yes, this and exactly he's got the charisma. That's not enough. That just means he's got enough charisma to convince people like you that that's all you need. Yes, I will agree. Boris Johnson is inc- a very very charming, charismatic, and 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 witty, you know, and in the right context, you know, an amusing, you know. Yeah, per- person, but that doesn't make him a good leader. Back. In fact, the sh- in fact the shittest the shittest leaders, the worst leaders, you know, are generally the ones who are the most charismatic, right? He's well read, person, and I remember him. He's he's well read, is he? Oh, because obviously, you know, because everyone else, you know, all the other politicians are sat there fucking, you know. Are just sat there dribbling with their helmets on, fucking, you know, not having a clue. Go, you know, fuck it. He's well read. He should be well fucking read. He's the pro- he's the prime minister. You do know Keir Starmer is a fucking lo- is a lawyer, right? What has he read? What are you fucking read? Right? Packet of pop from a fucking back of a microwave frozen lasagna box. True the covid times turning up every day the other thing i'd like he didn't turn up at my arse he turned he turned up every day the few days he did turn up he was pissed out of his fucking brains god michael palin didn't go on fucking holiday more than him mention please is that he was actually an it i love that her fucking argument is that he turned up for work great brilliant because we all remember that's what that's what that's why everyone has such fo- that's the what everyone used to say about great you know, Churchill you know that's the one of the things I said oh he always turned up he turned up in the morning you know and at least when Churchill was pissed he wasn't doing it because he was he was being a fucking you know he was being a being a party animal or trying to skive off work or just getting sloshed you know with with, you know, with the, having a good old jolly up no, he was getting drunk because he was a fucking alcoholic. And if he wasn't pissed, he wouldn't be able to function. Very close to death, okay? Very unwell. And not really once did he mention that, bring it up, 
or use it to simp spear at any point. Then how do you know about... Oh, no, because he left it to fucking knobheads like you to fucking use that, didn't he? In fact, I think the only time I heard it was recently when he talked about his, his sort of, if you like... Um, so you didn't know any of this before then? He was close to death. Oh, fucking don't make me... Don't get me fucking excited. His resignation speech in which he said thanks to people and he mentioned it himself. OK, so that wasn't brought up. He, he actually lived through it. That wasn't brought up, which is why I know about it. Uh, COVID, and in fact, if I remember... So I'm supposed to be impressed by the fact that he caught a disease, which, by the way, he caught it because he deliberately went around shaking hands with people who he knew had it. Right? As some kind of defiant start, you know, stand against, against a virus, right? And, and I'm so... So he's read books, you know, he turned up for work and... He had a, he nearly died from a disease that he that he could have fucking prevented, and I'm supposed to be impressed by this, am I? Remember, his wife Carrie wasn't able to see him. I'm sorry, which wife is this? Which wife? The fourth wife? The seventh wife? I lose track. Is this the mother of his fourth, third, and fourth kid, or the mother of his fifth, or the mother of his sixth and seventh? I don't know. Neither does he actually. Either she had to write letters. And, and do things like that from afar. Oh my God, his wife had to write letters. Are you hearing this, people? His poor wife had to write letters. Remotely. Hmm. So I think that Boris Johnson's got a very good handle on uh, on COVID because I think... Oh no, uh, you, you mentioned four things. One of them was done by his wife. But, uh, you know, as, you, as you can probably agree, experience is important, isn't it? Yeah. Jenny, um... Yeah. Interesting. I think you probably heard me say I'm sort of. Yeah, it's Jenny. You see, mm, interesting. You see, uh, I've, you know, uh, uh, right. Um, I, uh, yeah, you're a, you're, you're a bit of a wag. Let me ask you, Jenny. How, how did it feel uh, to escape from Jonestown? Uh, quite mm. concerned about some of the hyperbole around um, uh, mm. Boris Johnson. Um, and I think, in, as a result, I think it's much better to stick to kind of um, a list of things, specific things that one yeah. might have a problem with, which is what I was doing. So I absolutely agree with you on that point. I've, I've given you my list, Sangeeta, and I've told you. Uh, have you? Uh, no, we've heard your list, darling. It was dreadful. It it read it if it read like the you know you know when you want to get a letter of reference from someone but it, you can't actually your boss can't write anything overtly negative so they write things like you know they were awake during their shift you know they turned up mostly on time right. golden three for me which are very important we've got the vaccine we've got the Brexit we we've heard it Ada. shut up. We've got Ukraine, which is yeah. very, very much... We've got Ukraine! What do you mean we've got... You, you're just saying we've got Ukraine. What have we done? I'm sorry, what happened? I'm going. Can I just uh, mention one thing? You said something very interesting, and I just want to ask you about it. No, no, that that, that well, might be true, Sanjita, but not... Mm. Quickly, before we go to the news. Mm. Um, you said you, you really object when people call him a liar. Absolutely. Um, absolutely. But what people will say... A absolute, absolute. How dare anyone call this fucking, you know, this, you know, in, 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 in this, you know, fucking adulterous, serial adulterous, fucking baby mama creating shag bag who literally lost his job, his first job in journalism through because he lied. Yes. They will call him a liar because it's it's proven that he has lied. And they will talk about things like, for example, let me just put this to you. Go ahead. That yeah. He would often use... Go ahead. Go ahead. Try your best, bitch. The phrase, um, we have an oven-ready deal to get us out of Brexit. It's an oven-ready deal. It will deliver huge amounts of um, cash to spend on the NHS. Um, and we are ready to go. And of course, what... Uh, yes, didn't he say that? Do you remember the bus, darling? Do you remember the 350 million quid? Spend on the on the bus that that he said was lit that he literally said it's on film him saying it was true. What happened was, um, he prorogued mm. Parliament. It was passed. Um, uh, the legislation was passed, but actually, it's been an incredibly messy out. And that actually, that fundamentally was a lie. That it wasn't an oven ready deal, and he shouldn't have said it. And it appears that he's lied of literally everything in, apart from his name. Yeah. Yes, and the fact that we are out, aren't we? We were out. 
But we were going to be out anyway. That was never the that was never the question. We, there was a deadline. It hit once it had been. There was nothing you could do. If it wasn't for Boris, we wouldn't even be out at all. So whether it was completely right, and you expect me to fucking accept that as a good reason? Ready? Or maybe it was part baked. You Where don't else? accept. Maybe it was part baked. Oh my god! This fucking stupid fucking. When did women get this fucking... We, this is the second woman to call up, right? Is this the fucking last bastion? This is all men have got left. It's fucking talk radio, right? Don't take... You don't, you don't want... The, this is one glass ceiling. You don't want to break, girls. And that is, is something your point? that Theresa... Ter, my point is that Theresa May couldn't get it off and ready. She couldn't even get it... She didn't have the fucking chance! The deal... We would have come out with literally nothing better if she'd stayed on... But you're not, you don't, you're not interested in that, are you? Because you're just part of his fucking, you're part of Boris's fucking fantasy sex cult. I'm off, I'm ready. And may I say about this party business... And may I say, I don't think you fucking care whether you may or may not, do you, darling? That's part of your fucking problem. I have been, if you don't mind, because mm. this is what we... I, I do, actually, so eat shit. Right, I shouldn't have really got uh, my hopes up there, because, um... Well, we've got another moron here who's going to... Part of the Boris Johnson cult. Let's hear what that, I, I don't know. Who Let's get doing. back to your calls on this. Pamela's calling from Elton. Pamela. Oh, oh, it's fucking Pamela now. Jan, Jenny, Pamela, all the fucking golden girls are fucking, fucking gold from Ratna. Makes your Hello. fingers. Do you agree with Tobias on that? Hello there. Uh, I haven't got too many words, but um, right, good. Could sorry, could one of them be like? Could 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 like? Don't waste them. Why are you doing this then? I haven't got too many words. Right. But I thought I would ring you up because the family won't talk to me. Come back. I'm quite sure uh, the Conservatives will see sense and have him back. Uh, the two we have now, we must be a laughing stock. First of all, first of all, you know, first of all, you're right. They are a laughing stock, but they were a laughing stock before then, right? They were a laughing stock prior to that. You know. Do you remember when? Do you remember when David Cameron was accused, was laughable, you know, was uh, was was accused and dragged through the mud by some guy called Lord Ashcroft in an article in the Daily Mail where he claimed David Cameron fucked a pig? Isn't it amazing how that that was just a few years ago? That was just that was like six six years ago, right? He was the least laughable leader you've had. the way they carry on. It's been going on and on and on. It, it was pure and utter jealousy that got rid of Boris. Je it was jealousy. Okay. Um, of what, exactly? Jealousy. He just absolutely fantastic. Yes, he is. He did absolutely fantastic. But you, this... Oh, fuck. He just... You just despair. It's like jealousy. Uh, jealousy from who, Pamela? Jealousy from human beings. From the haters, jealousy. mate. And all it was jealousy from the haters, from all the haters on, you know, all the trolls and the haters, you know, and all those and all those people, all the people who have said, you know, the people on the subreddits and on the tweets, you know, all the haters on, you know. Whatever the fucking Tory equivalent of Kiwi Farms is. Those that perhaps want to take his place, they couldn't take his place. He's a highly... Wait, wait a minute. People who want to take his place. Well, surely all of those people, if it's... If you're saying people were jealous of Boris because he was in power and they wanted to be in power, well, yeah, that's probably quite natural uh, to, to feel that way. But you're saying... But now he's gone because of that. And now, so all of the other people are now jealous of, so this is just a, but he's not there now, so they're not jealous of him. So were they jealous of Theresa May before that, right? Because... Intelligent, he's good at his job, he gives everyone a laugh and what have you when he can. But he, lives he gives everyone a fucking laugh!
the standards in this country that we have for fucking for leaders. This is the bulldog spirit. This is the fucking spirit of the blitz. This is two world wars and one world cup. Doodah, doodah. A bit of a laugh. In terrible times at the moment, but he's the man for the job, and I'm sure he'll be back. And it says so. In he'll be back. Oh God! Imagine the Boris. The, the talk about the fucking Terminator. Yeah. The polls. A great many people want him back, and it's well, tough fucking shit. That's not how it works. I cried when I knew he'd gone. I cried. Good. Good, I hope you do it again. I hope you cry yourself till you're fucking dry, the rest of you's dried up. Right. I did, because it, it's just it's just a one-off, he's an unusual man. I think... Joe Wills was a one-off, fuck it, you, Joseph Fritzel was a one-off. Right? Jimmy Savile was a bit of a laugh, right? I'm not comparing Boris Johnson to Jimmy Savile. Right. Jimmy Savile actually did do some good for charity. You know, there is no evidence of Boris doing any positive. You know. The people he had around him, he should have got rid of earlier. But that's that's another story. But I know he'll be back, and I know he's been stabbed in the back. And all those that stabbed him in the back, he'll be back. But he's been stabbed in the back. But he's got to, you know. Well, he knows that fucking feels now, then doesn't he? If there's one geezer who doesn't have a right to complain about being fucking being screwed over by someone who he thought he could try, it's that fucker. They were probably just knives that he'd fucking left in other people. No good will come of them. You know, they lose their job, they go on to other things, but they've tried to hurt him. Well, you're a fucking bar you're a fucking ray of sunshine, ain't you? So it's Boris or no it's Boris or bust, is it? That's it, is it? There's no other option. Okay. And he's a fantastic man. And what about all the parties, Pamela? What about all the scandals? What about Chris Pinch? What about Owen Patterson? Well, they've made what about more the wallpaper? Of it than they are. I don't believe he went to any of those parties. It was a. I... I, you don't believe he went to any of those parties. That's what. That's all you've got. Well, hold on. The me well, then, if he didn't, do you not think he should have maybe stopped them from continuing? What with them being against the rules and shit. The Bulletin police found that he did. Well, yeah. well, I mean, you know, the police, eh? Who can trust the police? You know, always trying to bust a rich, privileged, fucking bumbling twat who's in charge of the country. Well, I, I can't argue with that, but that place he's in... That you can't argue with that, but... I can't argue with that, right? But... Ten. Huge, great many offices, I've been told. He couldn't have been everywhere. He's not a magician. Well, he wasn't everywhere, but he was at unlawful gatherings. That... He's fucking... He's, he's a magician. He's a bloody hypnotist. What he's done to fucking people like but you. Well, well, we all make mistakes, and he's paid... Oh, fucking shove that up your pissing ass! Yes, do you know what? We all do make mistakes, and do you know what else we do? We fucking pay for them. We have to fuck. We have to fucking accept the responsibility when those mistakes happen. You don't just go, "Oh, it was a mistake." We all make mistakes, yes. And the point is, you know, when you make a mistake, you suffer the consequences. That has to. But to get rid of him at this particular time, when the whole world it seems to be in chaos everywhere, he's and 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 he's not in charge of the old world. Fucking, you know. You, you, you know, fucking Iacinth Bouquet, he's in charge. Fantastic, he's good at the job, and people are based... Just stop saying that. You can't even make something up, can you? He's good at the job, he's a, he's a real go-getter, he's, you know, he's got a, he's got a, I, I like, he's, he's charming, he's got a, he's, he's got two legs, he's a mammalian biped, you know, I like the fact that he's, uh, you know, his, his bone, his skull, skull shape, I like that, you know. Um, have you read? Have you read the bell curve? What's he, what's he done in the job that makes you say he's good at it, Pamela? Oh, here we go. Let's strap him for this one, folks. Come on, Pamela, hit me with it. Oh, well, just him being there. All the but, but what's he done? Uh, what's he done? That's good. At job? Well, just him being there.
What's he achieved? Oh, well, as I say, I've not got too many... Well, 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 let me tell you, well, well, what's he achieved? He's Boris Johnson. Are you Boris Johnson? No, he is. That's what he's achieved. And until you've achieved Boris Johnson, until you're Boris Johnson... ...words, but I can tell you... Um... I can't tell you in words. Well... I've got some words for you. Fucking run. I'm of an age and I've seen lots of jealousy around. Oh, you're of an age. Oh, brilliant. So you're old. You're old. And you've seen things. Brilliant. Well, I'm not as old as you, but I've seen things too. And as long as I continue to see things and be alive, do I get to have, do I get to fucking, that's it. In all you've got, it's just, I like him. Me in my but, life. But, but Pamela, you, you... I mean that this call. I like. I mean, in a way, this call sums up Boris Johnson perfectly, because this is the, this is where his brilliance lays. Because this woman has phoned up with to defend him with literally nothing, like literally nothing. Fuck all. Nothing. Can't say he's good at the job and then not think of a single thing well, that he's achieved. Well, um, you know, I don't know so much. Look, look at Ukraine. They all love him, don't they? Look how he went. Look at Ukraine. They all love him. There. Look how he gets on his feet and does so things. So going to Kiev. He, look how he gets on his feet and does things like a little Rory Calhoun. Right? Have you seen? Have you not seen him? The way he's, you know, wears trousers and walks around, you know, underneath the sky. Have you ever heard, uh, this is, I mean, this is pathetic. I don't care if you're watching this and you're a conservative. I don't even care if you're a Boris Johnson fan. Surely you can sit there and we can agree that this is fucking pathetic. It was his big achievement in two and a half years as Prime Minister. Well, I think he's fantastic. Well, 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 oh, oh, don't go, oh. well, I have an orgasm since 1973 when I was finger fucked in a bar, in, at a barn dance. Look, I'm, look, trying look to get a, I'm trying to get into why you think he's fantastic. His, forgive me. Look at his ending speech. You know he was. So his ending speech. That's his achievement. Is the speech he gave after he fucking had to resign. After all of his cabinet fucked off, and it was just him and the Dean Dorries there. Yeah. He wasn't anything. He's very sad to lose the job. I know, I know, I know he'll be back. I'm quite sure. So, he'll so be his, back. his his literally his his achievement was. Oh my god! His, the reasons you think he did a good job is because he went to Kiev and he didn't cry when he resigned. Uh no. He he's done everything. I mean, um, the... he's done everything, everything, but, and I mean everything, literally everything. He's done it. This illness, this terrible illness that caused so much misery. Well, you've got a fucking illness, darling. I think you need, you need to be fucking put down shortly after this call. COVID. He didn't make it. He didn't, he didn't know about it. He didn't make it. Right. So I'm supposed... One of his achievements was not being responsible for making COVID. He caught it himself. I mean... It... Again, this is the second caller in a row. Who is using the fact that Boris Johnson caught a disease? A terrible. Thank God he thank God he weren't prime minister fucking in the nineteen eighties. And for the whole, he'd have been, he'd have fucking died before you'd have even fucking got to the. He'd have probably wouldn't have lived as long as his fucking his premiership. World, it was terrible. So he didn't but start. Everyone... It was terrible. It was terrible. He was ill. Pandemic, and he didn't cry when he resigned. But what be? We didn't start COVID. It came from China. From that, did he do that makes you say he's been an excellent Prime Minister? Oh, well, um, I will... <laughs> Do you have to start every fucking sentence that you say with... <laughs> Tell my daughter, you must vote Conservatives. Uh... You told your daughter... Oh, my God. Jesus. Wept. Because they will not ever lose what they've got. 
Oh, do you know what? We fucking did Harold Shipman wrong. We should have just let him carry on. He'd have got round of this. Uh, he'd have saved us this fucking misery. And uh, I think he's a great, strong uh, support for What's that. he done for you, Pamela? What's he done that's helped... What, what has she done? She's fucking sitting in a puddle. Benefited you. Well, he makes me feel proud. He makes me feel proud. To be in this... He makes me, f he makes me funny feel all wavy. ...country. He stands up. He looks what he is. He's a prime minister. He stands up. He looks in one direction. He fucking turns. He moves his leg one after the other. He puts his pant, his trousers on one arm at a time, just like the rest of us. These two people that are on, they may be very nice, but they don't look like prime ministers at all. For all the things they say they're going to do and not do, he looks the part. He sounds the... I fucking... Oh, my God. Jesus. Could someone, please... Pa Pamela in where is it? Was it Ipswich? I don't fucking know. Just if if find every Pamela in Ipswich and just up against the wall now. Okay, we've got one more call to go, folks. But before I get round to that, please remember that uh, my name's Dick Coughlin. If you have been here before, please give it a like. Please post a comment. Please share it around. Right, engagement is important, as you know. And uh, also, please you know if uh, you know, subscribe if you're new, obviously. And uh, but more importantly, if you can support me on Patreon, please do. You will make a donation through Cash App. Please do. That would be great. Because, you know, especially now. And and in fact, with the pound crashing very recently, you know, whatever you would, you know, pledge, you know, just treble that, just to be on the safe side. Anyway, so we've got one more caller. Let's see, let's see who that is. We're back with Sanjita. Anna, in witness. Hello. Oh my God, it's a fuck, oh my God, we've done it. It's the four, four women. This is the first, oh my, God. this is the first all fucking female this is the all ladies fucking first ever LBC video I think I've ever done. This is the Ghostbusters reboot, right? And I'll tell you what, you're doing a fine job, right? Hello there. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to agree with you. <laughs> I'm not going to agree with you, right, Sanjita. For the start, right, uh, for the start, uh, you know, um, well, how can I put this? Uh... Uh, you know, you you know, uh, you know, if you were if you were running a corner shop or driving a taxi, you know, and uh, walking around, and you had you know, with 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 you know, seventeen kids and your husband who you know wears his pajamas all day and a business suit in bed, and you know, and you you know, you like you can't go to the toilet without you know taking your entire family with you, and uh, then you know, and uh, th then that that would be fine, but you know, go on, go for it. I'll say, so I just want to explain to you my situation. Yeah, I come please. from a family of 10 kids. Mm. Just 10 kids, no parents. Wow. It's pretty impressive. And my mother worked 12 hour nights at the power station in the country. Well, we're, we, do you know what she should have done? Maybe she should have learned how to fuck for, you know, pro, you know, how to fuck recreationally. You know? I, you know, I, I'm not impressed. You know, she, she had to work 12 hours. Yeah, do you know why? She had 10 frigging kids. I'm seen. Yeah. My dad died when we were younger. I'm sorry. Good. He, probably because he saw... He probably, you know, I probably would have. 10 fucking kids. Yeah. The most fucking pro-life... He, he was so pro-life. He was so pro-life. And in the end, she fucking... You know, it was like, right, well, if you're not going to fucking get rid of them, I'm, I am. I never had free school meals. Um, I firmly believe that it's not the government's job to feed kids. I believe it's down <laughs> to the parents. Okay. Do you know what? If there's one thing I fucking will never understand and have absolutely nothing but utter disdain and, dis and contempt for. It's these people who don't... Who, who, who's literally sit there and go well you know my life was tough my parents had it hard we had it hard it you know life wasn't easy we've struggled you know and because you know we've suffered and because of that i want everyone else to it's not you know i don't want everyone else. it's not i don't want anyone else to go through what i've gone through 
No, it's not that. I don't think it's the government's fucking job to fix. The parents are going to give the food to the kids. The government is not going to come round to everybody's house with a fucking... It's not the government's job to feed kids. Stupid fucking... Maybe if they had have been. I don't believe all this, what you're saying, let's all sit together and have a meal and all that kind of stuff. I don't believe any of that. I don't... Oh, my God, that weren't even a fucking... It wasn't even a fucking attempt at something. That was just the most miserable, bitter, horrible thing I've heard all fucking... All week. It's only Monday. Tuesday. It's Tuesday, granted. I don't believe in all this sitting together and eating food, you know. If you starve to death... That's what you did. You ate your fucking dad, didn't you? That's why he killed himself, it's a sacrifice. And the reason why I'm saying that is because you're... It's because you're a cunt. You're a miserable, embittered, twisted old shitbag. On UK radio, mm -hmm. how are the kids doing in Africa? Do they get... How are the kids doing in Africa? Do you give a shit? How dare you fucking bring up someone? This is like those people. Whenever you know, when we, when, whenever you talk about immigrants, they'll say, "Oh, they're, a, they're, a, they're, a, they're, a, you know, they're a fucking geezers who are fought in the, for the British Army. They're, a, you know, war veterans who are living, who are homeless." But I guarantee you, not one of the motherfuckers who makes that argument has ever given a sodding, has, has given a single solitary fucking quid. To anyone from the homeless. They don't give anything to fucking charity. The only point, the only time people who are who are suffering, like the homeless, or people in Africa, or people who are other people who are starving, the only time any of that, you the only time these people give a shit is when they can use it as an as some kind of like emotional fucking, you know batter around someone's head to try and make them feel guilty about the fact the other pe the other people so why should these people get it when these people why should you get it why should you give why, why should you have the right to do fucking anything what you why do you have the right to fucking moan anyway folks that's it from me as i said please comment like subscribe blah 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 patreon whatever and uh thank you and i will see you soon this is Brother Neuro, Dick Coughlin, saying good night, may God be less. And remember, where there's no sense, there's definitely no feelings. Girl power. <laughs>